Yo, what's up? Guess what? I am so done with editing this stuff. Well, I'm not done editing, but I'm like so done with the fact that I haven't finished these things yet. Anyway, welcome to day 10. This is the day that everyone is waiting for, except I was not waiting for it. My family was so excited to go skiing in Chile, but I am terrified of heights and like when I hike up mountains, which is very rare, but when I hike up mountains, I freak out, especially when I go above tree lines. I hate like the open spaces and everything. I hate the cold, I hate skiing. I learned how to ski when I was 16 months. So with that being said, this was my first day on this whole trip of actually having a panic attack, so. In Chile, going skiing, big deal. I mean, it, it was a big deal, but I was like so over it. Oh, I love going over other trailers. This is so fun. I love heights too. My mom and I rode up on a double lift together. So it was like two person left going up and I was being very snarky and sarcastic because I was angry and kind of anxious. And I said, wow, I'm so thankful that I'm here on the snow on this freezing lift with my mom and not on a nice beach with my friends which was kind of rude and everything and ungrateful, but I was so not, I, I just wasn't having it. Yeah, isn't it so great? After we got off the chairlift, I was still very pissed. So the rest of the family, my mother, my brother, and my father were deciding what trail to take because I do not make decisions in this house. Nuh -uh. I just complain about them instead. I was so overthinking. And I was thinking about how miserable I was, and they were all arguing, arguing about what trail was closed or not. And, again, there are no trees up there, so, like, you can't really tell which trail is what, because they just, like, separate it by some bamboo posts, which are just, like, little, little posts that they put in. So, my brother and my dad were like, okay, it's, it's this way, let's go on this cat track, which is just, like, a flat, a flat track. Had a slight incline to it, so I was angry because... I hate walking up hills, especially on skis and everything. As I spiraled, my frustration turned into a panic, which made me cry even harder because I was like, oh my god, I'm such a disappointment to everybody. I'm so, like, I'm disappointing myself and others because I, like, spent this whole week, I've done this whole week without Xanax and, like, no panic attacks. I've been so good. Like, I'm so strong as, like, I got this. Out of all the things on the trip, like, skiing is the one that I understand most. Like, I can't understand Chilean Spanish, but I understand skiing. So my brother suggested that we drop into a trail that was right there. And my mom was like, oh my god, no, it's probably closed. And then she started to panic, and I was like, oh my god, what is happening? And, like, if I hadn't been panicking, I would have been able to do it just fine, I think. But I was panicking, so I was like, oh my god, this is terrible. My mother, who had been so snarky back to me was freaking out. When she gets anxious, she gets very angry. And when I get anxious, I get very mean. I'm also just like normally a mean person, but that's also because I'm like normally an anxious person. So, you know, if I ever like said a bad thing to you, it's because I was nervous. Or you suck, but probably that I was probably nervous. But again, you might suck too. So my mother, isn't this great? Isn't this great? So glad we're here. So glad, so glad. My mother decided to start yelling at everybody and blaming my dad and everybody else for getting us into this mess and she's talking about how she was right, she was right all along, she knew it, she knew it, na na na, -na goo goo, I was right, you were wrong, blah, 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 blah. She was worried that there was going to be an avalanche, that we were going to cause the avalanche from going on a closed trail and that we were all going to die and then the newspaper was going to say like, stupid gringo Americans went on a closed trail and then they died, what, what did they think was going to happen, stupid. You know, just like the normal thoughts. Don't worry, I never like actually puke anything up, so if that's something that like grosses you out, it never happens, so like don't worry. However, I did dry heave a billion times. In that moment, as the tears were just filling up my goggles, <coughs> I hate puking. I'm not sure anybody enjoys like the feeling of puking, but I, I hate puking. But that is also like one of the things that my body does in response to a panic attack, which is so dumb because I'm like, oh my god, what if I throw up? And then I'm like, I spiral even harder and then like we get into like the core of the earth because we're spiraling so hard, you know, like drilling into the earth. We either had to hike up the cat track, which I did not want to do, or we went down that trail, which I also did not want to do. I just didn't want to be there at all. But 
I was there, so I had to, like, get over it. My dad was behind me and was, like, trying to calm me down. I just was a mess. You know, make a turn, heave, make a turn, heave, make a turn, heave. It was, like, a nice song. It had, like, a nice rhythm to it, you know, like, make a turn, heave, make a turn, heave, make a turn, heave. Once I saw my big brother flying down the trail, I was like, whoa, 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 wait. I got this. I am a superhero and I'm gonna go catch up with my big brother and show my mom who's boss. Which is like really not a good way to think but also it helped and that's how I got down the trail. You know, that's just like what little siblings do. They see the big sibling go and they're like, I can do it too! And then they go and do it and then they die and you know, that's the end of that. I didn't die this time. So I made it down the trail, made it to my brother Miles, and still <coughs> at that point though I just started to laugh because I was like oh my god what's happening like I'm I'm down from this trail and like now the rest of this part is like groomed and flat and like I can see better oh yeah I couldn't see first of all I don't wear my I don't wear these glasses when I ski and it was also like very like dark and like gross and flat lighting so really couldn't see that well. You just have to find like the humor in every situation. You know, just like that's the way to do it. But you know, for, like for the rest of the day I was like pretty calm. Um had a plenty fine time. You will see some footage of me like singing down a mountain. Wow. <coughs> Don't worry, not puking this time. My dad says that like I puked up my anxiety and freed myself. Let me tell you, I still have anxiety. But yeah, that is the story of the time I dry heaved over 30 times while I was in the Andes. Hey, hey good job, good job. Wow, shred of the gnar. And I'll take a picture of you guys right here, right here, right here. Right here? Oh yeah, Mali. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I blindfolded her because she was freaking out so much. And I was like, here, I'll just fix that for you. Do you have to follow him so closely? <laughs> Can you please cover Mom. up your freaking face? Do you have to look so closely? Yes. I'm going to drug you so hard tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, I can feel something. Oh, no. <laughs> you are so fine. No. <laughs> Horses, I know they're there. What happened to that guy who was in front of us? Oh, you went over the edge. Mom, close your eyes. Close it. He's speeding up. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Stop. He's going. I can feel him speeding up. He is speeding up on a on a downhill. Yeah. How dare he not use his brakes on a downhill? Well, how do we know the brakes aren't gonna fail? We're not using them. <laughs> we, all, we all need therapy. I told you I was gonna have a hard time going down. Yeah. I can't wait to do this tomorrow. That's what she said. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> keep, keep them closed, keep them closed. Yeah, keep them closed. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, keep them closed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why would why would you open them right was... before you see the memorial? <laughs> oh the garbage truck. <laughs> Thank you for stopping for it. <laughs> There's high consequences. <laughs> What, a marriage ending? Well, they'll have to know. <laughs> oh, it does look like a crime scene. 
<laughs> no, keep your eyes closed. Yeah, I'm um, here for you, babe. Yeah. Where, yeah. yeah. Really, really supportive. I, I, 14. 14. That's it. It'd be a bummer to crash on one of the lowest ones, too, after getting through all of them. We lost a, yeah, some pretty gnarly corners in Mexico. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Cristobal? Those yeah. Mexican buses, man. I do remember that we got all the way through the pass, and I remember we got down to this flat section where it just like. I'm so that turn are. was totally acceptable. Thank you. Cool. Now, Miles, continue your story, we please. Emptied, like, we emptied into the high desert, and we're going straight finally, and Joel just barfed. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I think that's why? when I puked all over my pink shirt. And yeah, that was disgusting. <laughs> I just like cooked. And then we still had like more bus ride to oh, yeah. go. Honestly, I think that the Phantom Oreos though is like probably the most iconic. Iconic most iconic epic hack. Yeah. <laughs> Threw up in somebody's garbage can on the street. Somebody's the cities. <laughs> well that wait, was that was a different time I puked. <laughs> Adventures with Jillian should be renamed to Puking in Different Countries with Jillian. Because yeah. hey man. We're just puking. Just puking with the that's true. No? Okay. okay. Well, that's what the number said. Oh. <laughs> well, I say no. Thanks for watching. I know it's sort of a long video, but that was my, that was my puking story. <gasps>